out there. My name is Chris Nicholson, and guess what came this morning? I am so excited. Uh, the freighting company just alerted me on my email that I got some pianos. So over here, this is the Rap City 3, and I got a brand new bench in a box. And over here, this is the Overture 3. These brand new Williams pianos, I can't wait to take them out of the box and we do the unboxing. Um, as I said, it came by a freighting company, so um, something happened with the freighting, um, with the box right over here with the freighting company. I had that happen before. Uh, so I hope the piano is safe inside and more than just the box itself. But yeah, look, so these are the brand spanking new Williams upright pianos. This is the Series 3. So you get the Rap C3, this is in Deep Walnut. And right over here, this is the Overture 3 and Ebony Gloss, the high polish Ebony, just like the Symphony Grand 2. So stay tuned, I am going to unbox these two pianos and that bench and um, give my first impressions. I am very, very excited. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the Rap CD3 first and then go to the Overture 3. So I'm going to put the Overture 3 on the side and open up the box of the Rap CD3. As for the bench, I'm going to do that in another video because these pianos actually come with their own benches. This bench is a separate bench that I actually needed. So um, let's start. Here we go. This is gonna be my very first series of Williams Upright. This is the series three, actually. And um, to unbox them and to actually do my first impressions, I am so happy, so let's get started. I got my knife right here. And you're just gonna be careful not to Well, everybody, there it is. This is the Williams Rap City 3 in a deep walnut, and they packed it very, very well. I love the way how they do their packing. And as you can see right over here, you got two feet, one, two right there, and this is the accessories. So all your accessories that you need to put this piano together is in the, this box right here, plus everything is uh, mentioned in the manual. So let's start doing it. Okay, so this is one of the feet. Beautiful, it's like a chocolatey brown color to match the uh, piano. There's another foot right here. And the foot comes with these little um, dolls right over here, so you can just easily guide them in. Which is really cool. This is for the accessories right over here. And this comes with all the screws and all of your accessories that you need actually put this thing together, which is really cool. All right, now the hard part, taking the piano out. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to flip the box upwards, since it's only me, and just guide it out a little bit. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so if you're doing this by yourself, you can either do two things. You can flip the box upwards, just basically on one side just to get it out, or you can flip the box backwards. So say for instance the keys are facing to the front right there, you can actually flip it to the back. So I'm going to turn the box around. Just like that. And to be on the safe side, put this flap down or you can leave it up. You know, if you leave it up, if you have sensitive floors, it's best to leave the flap up. And slowly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick it up from the bottom, hold my hand on the piano, and this is an easy way how to take it out. So you don't have to wrench your back and just pick up the piano by yourself and accidentally fall and trip. So what you're going to do is 
guy it out. So everybody, I discarded the box and this is what it comes with right here. You have the piano itself, which is absolutely beautiful. You also have the two side pillars, which is really good for the stand. You have the, um, the bottom brace, which actually holds the pedals. In the back over here, you have is the back paneling. And down there, you have two feet and accessories. So, time to take them out the bags. So as for the piano itself, I'm not gonna take that out the bag. I'm gonna make sure that's gonna be last. But first, let's work on the feet and also the sides right here, and also take out the pedals. So, this is the first one right over here. That's such a beautiful dark walnut. Oh my gosh, beautiful. I never had a Williams in a different color. I always had them in black, but that's a beautiful dark walnut. So I'm gonna put that to the side, and let's see the other one. Same thing. They wrap it very well, so. And also you get these brackets right here, so easy to guide, you know? Okay, so two, two. Let's get this big piece right over here. And this one is so cool. Look at this. Usually, usually on other digital pianos, it's laying down like this. This one actually is sitting up. And you got the two pedals right over here, nicely wrapped. I'm gonna keep those plastics on the pedals for a, a while until I find something else to cover them. But yeah, pretty nice, pretty good construction on here. Very, very impressive. Okay, so I opened up the accessory pack and the first thing that you see right over here is basically the power supply. Now this is what I suggest you do is label your power supplies. Take a label maker or, you know, label it with something on there that will actually say Williams Rap City 3. So just in case if you misplace it, you know, next time you find it again, it's the Rap City 3. Okay, so you get the four L brackets right over here. They actually uh, house eight screws which is really cool. And you got these little screws right over here. This is actually six of them. You got the big screws right over here, which is six of them too. And you got six washers right over here. You have four, um, these are basically screw caps. So I showed you what it looks like from the top and the bottom. And over here, this uh, you have basically eight screws. That goes with the uh, L brackets. And just like furniture style, uh, you actually have the screws with the washers in it, which is locking washers. So, one thing else you have is also, this is your headphone um, stand right here. So your headphones actually rest on that, and there's the four screws of that. This is gonna be your back panel. So let's open it up. Of course, your manual's right over here. This side is both basically the clean side right over here, so that goes in the back. This side right over here, it kind of has a little bit of the punches out, so that's gonna go in front so you don't see it. So in the back, it looks very nice and flush, and in the front, you won't be able to see these little punches right over here. Okay, so the best thing to do is to actually get our stand pieces together and look in the manual and see basically how to put it together. 
Okay, so this is the manual right here, and this is the stuff that actually comes with the manual. So let me show you. First of all, you have, is this spread over here. This is a, actually an interactive learning how to play the piano app, which right here. So this is your piano teacher. So if you don't know how to play the piano and this is your very first piano, this app is the way to go. And this is actually the School Learning Center right here. And um, I'm covering up my code, my um, actually code, because you get three months of free lessons. And for me, I don't know how to read music. Uh, this will be actually good for me. So I'm gonna put this aside. The next thing that you have is your customer warranty support right over here. And this, if you have any questions about the item, basically if you have missing parts or if it's damaged, or um, if you have questions about assembly, you can actually call the 1888 number right there and they'll teach you how to do it basically over, over the phone, which is really good, or they can send some support out to you, which is really nice. Okay, and right over here, this is the Rap City 3 manual. Now I'm gonna put this manual down, and as you can see, once you turn the first page, it'll basically show you all the assembly instructions. So right there, this is how to actually put the foot in, and what screws you need for that. And right over here is more assembly instructions until you get the piano back on. All the way from the headphones and also from the pedals right there. Cool, I'm excited, let's put this together. little by 
my little. Okay, now I'm gonna go underneath the piano and install the screws in. All right, now we want to install the headphone holder right over here. This headphone holder is really, really cool because it also extends out just like that. So there are four um, screw holes, basically, that you have the four screws and they're easy to guide. So what I suggest you do is have your screws on ready and then let's begin. Once that's done, any headphones that you have, you have two headphone jacks on the bottom, and you can actually pull that out or push it in if you want the headphones to actually come a little bit more forward. Next thing you have to remember is to hook up the pedal jack in the back, and everything is labeled right there for you. Wow, just take a look at this beauty. Unbelievable. Beautiful deep walnut. Nice layout that it has right there. You got the EQ, you got the instruments. I'm just wondering how it feels and how it sounds. There goes your two pedals right there. Beautiful deep walnut finish. Now setting up a Williams upright piano just like this, then rather a Williams grand piano just like the Symphony Grand 2, it's a little bit different because the Symphony Grand 2, it comes with three legs and also comes with a pedal wire. This, you have to actually set up the whole assembly as the stand, and you have more screws and more parts. But I tell you this, if you have two people, it will take you no time at all. So now, last but not least, the plug. But, guess what? I'm not gonna plug it in yet, because we have another piano we have to unbox. So let's do it. Okay, so now we're going to do the Overture 3. This is the bigger brother of the Rap City 3. And I got my knife. As I said, this came off of freighting, so this is just a little accident from the box. They probably did something with it. But I hope the piano inside is good. So let's do it. much bigger footprint too. Wow. Here's the manual. I'm gonna put that right here. Here are the feet. You got the power cord. And you got the accessories. This one actually comes with a bench. The Rap City 3 did not come with a bench, but this one comes with a matching bench. And look how it's all wrapped up. It's kind of wrapped up like the Symphony Grand 2 when I first basically um, opened it up. Wow, I'm excited. It's just like opening up the Symphony Grand 2 again, but in an upright version. So, just wanted to show you guys how it's packed. It was packed very, very nicely. Those styrofoam pieces over there held the box really nice. Doesn't look like any damage of the piano. So how about this? Let's get to it and let's take the piano out the box. This box is a bench, so we'll put this together later. Oh yes, 
I took everything out of the box. I tell you this, with the Overture 3, you're definitely going to need another person to help you. As I suggest also with the Symphony Grand 2. So, it's a heavy beast. And it's very, very delicate because of the finish. So you don't want to scratch the finish. But it is wrapped very, very well. So, let's put it together. Okay, so let's see the legs. Let's just say the size of it. Wow, look at that. That is beautiful. Just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous size of it. Okay, so that's one side right here. As I said, it's a high polish ebony, so it's delicate. You don't want to drop it, you don't want to mess it up or scratch it. Look at that, that's just too gorgeous for words. Okay, really nice. And I see that this side goes, this side goes up, this side goes up right here. Okay, and also then you have the pedals. do this by myself it's very very risky because this is heavy this is basically the front part of the symphony grand 2 basically and it's very very heavy it's very delicate because of the black high polish finish now you are with your own responsibility if any damage has happened that's your own responsibility but I suggest that you get somebody else to actually help you do this so this I'm gonna take on my own responsibility because I want to do it for the video and have this all set up. So here we go.
exactly my point, everybody. This has been wrapped up just like the Symphony Grand 2 with the plastics. They wrap these up just like they wrap up acoustic pianos. And see the front logo right there? Symphony, I mean, basically Williams right there. On the Symphony Grand 2, it's the same thing. So this is really, really good. Okay, let's unveil it. This piano is absolutely gorgeous, everybody. When it's all set up in that black high polished look, it's just beautiful. This is the Overture 3. And right over here, you got Deep Walnut Rhapsody 3. Well, everybody, that was an adventure. It was a fun adventure unpacking these boxes. I know it took a little bit of time and, but I wanted to share it with you. So, right over here is the Rep City 3, and this is the new Overture 3. And right in back of there is the top of line Symphony Grand 2. And as you can see those other two keyboards back there hidden, those are actually the Legato 3 and the Allegro 3. So I have the whole line of Williams pianos here. So I just can't wait until I see what they come out with next. I'm going to have to make room. But now I know you guys want to listen to the Rap City 3 and the Overture 3. So let's play the piano sounds. Okay, so this is the moment that everybody has been waiting for. Let's listen to the piano sound. So I'm going to play the piano sound of the Rap City 3 and try out some of the other voices that are on here. And as I said, I was not in collaboration with these two pianos. Uh, so. I don't know how they're going to sound, I don't know how they're going to feel, I have not even touched it yet, so here we go. Beautiful lights on the display right here, beautiful LEDs. Okay, let's turn it up.
So let's do piano two. Piano two is right here. get all the style you don't get any styles on here as you say um, but you just get basically all the sounds and a beautiful up, upright cabinet and over here you get the USB to host and right in back of the music desk on both models you have the USB to device which is pretty good and you have Bluetooth okay so let's go to uh, right piano <laughs> They were definitely 
watching my videos and listening to me that I love Ray's sharps and they, they actually did that, which is really, really neat. So, um, yeah, you got other pianos on here. Rock piano. <laughs> about these Williams pianos, please go to www.williamspianos.com. And also you could join me on my Facebook page, which is actually Williams Piano Artist Forums. And what it is basically is that if you own a Williams piano, it could be an older model, please post a picture of it, tell us how you like it, tell us what needs improving, we are listening. So. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.